Hello again everyone, this is Beast Back in a 7 with Dead Rooms of Death, King Pilchard Ace Dungeon. So now we have 6 locks in the upper ground floor and we have to take care of each of them. Lock 1. Okay, lock number 1. No targets as far as I'm concerned, so... Break through and be quick. Shitting me. Okay, so what is this like a? Oh, I see. I think I need to go activate that thing over there. I can actually do that in a in a in a cinch. Right here, right now. No, I don't want to rec record a demo. Stop 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 doing weird things. There. Now I can immediately go kill that tar mother and be done with her. Because there are no limits on me going through these things. Lock one deactivated. Just gonna clear up everything. Oh. Well, well, well. Looks like something's being feisty. I'll try to clear that up then. Very well then. You have dared, and now you shall be dead. Okay. Sometimes I wish my commentary was a little better than just singing like a dolt, but yeah, it's not happening. So uh, yeah, I guess we'll just have to live with how terrible my commentary is. Something. Uh, yeah. Give me a second. All right, I'm back. Distractions happen, I guess. Anyway, um, yeah, this thing. Clear. Okay, B3 return from lock number one. Pop. Okay, so, lock number two. I'm not sure how they managed to remember these kinds of things in uh, during the Ruta Hall. Hey, look! A pressure play before pressure play. It's lock two deactivated. Okay. Okay, so we're actually going back to the other floors. I didn't even notice that. Yeah, lower mid floor now. And it's a sword. Oh. Cool. What's this point of the sword? Oh, okay then. Okay, so... And this just clears up the way. Fair enough. No, stop, stop that. Thanks for reminding me I can exit the level. It'll be a good thing for me to do once I, you know, clear the room and all that, all that biz. All that biz and the showbiz. 
None in the old show business. I'm just saying stupid things that sound fun now. What's wrong with me? Hell, showbiz ain't even fun, it's just kinda stupid. A bunch of uh, people who feel justified in doing things because that's just how showbiz goes, they pretend. With their hands reaching far in places they shouldn't be. Wow, we've gone awfully political all of a sudden. This is supposed to be a, a, a channel about uh, friendly games where people and monsters are killed. I mean, what the hey, man? What the hey? Donkey boy? Okay, anyway, seriously though, I'm gonna cut some mud. Actually, I'm gonna try something. Yep, this locks me behind the enemy lines, and I won't have to deal with these tricks anymore. Whatever I desire in life, no one's gonna have anything to say about it, because if they do, I will persecute them for reasons of a reason sort. Unreasonable reasons. Well, I've never heard of such a thing. But but uh, so yeah, um, life sure is a a thing that is life, huh? Okay, now we're really hammering it in with a political commentary there, and it's commentary, commentary, not commentary. Wow. Seriously, Jeff, get a grip. <laughs> and it's political, not political. You pronounce like a dunce. Like a nun who is uh, going dun 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 or something. I don't know. I don't know anymore. Leave me alone. Why is there tar in there? Oh, I can open the door. That's nice. Okay. Hey, I can do blowing up thingy. I'm gonna die, aren't I? Oh, just barely not. Okay, so queens spawn things and I kill them. Seems like a perfect life cycle to me. It's a circle of life. Roaches spawn and then I kill them. I forget how the actual song goes, but seems to be the life, the the circle of life in Drod. But you already knew that. Lock three deactivated. I deactivated your face. <laughs> yeah, if the lock has a face, I did deactivate it. Okay, middle floor. Ew. I'm guessing this is like the end game or something. Oh, hey, it's Beetle. Uh, wait, what? Did you close that black door on me? You jerk. Okay, so some spider killing. I swear, for some reason, spiders haven't been a problem for me. You even know they're like supposedly the spawn of the Antichrist or something. So I've been told. I like the part where there's mud babies. Okay.
Alright, that's that taken care of. I think. An orb! What wonderful magic would this provide us with? I'm just gonna cut all the mud. If only it was at least cutting tar. I mean, with mud, you'd know there's no way of losing unless the level is against you. So. Yeah. What giveth? What giveth, Gwyneth? Yes, you will uh, die. Okay. I'm guessing I was, I was supposed to have something there. This just looked like a beard. Because I'm a bearded idiot? Well, I have a tiny stub, I guess. Like, barely noticeable though. Anyway, the snake is dead. Blech. So, uh, alright, let's get that guy's chin. Seriously, in game it looks like he throws a huge yellow chin. But I know it's his shirt. I'm not stupid. Okay. Return from lock 4. Poof. Okay, I see how they make them work. It's dis it's an end, uh, end on room exit thing. Interesting. Hey, Alf. Hey, Uncle Bethro. This lock looks like me for some reason. It's kind of weird. Almost creepy. No, seriously. That is unbelievably creepy. How did the architect get the likeness of Alf and Bethro for this? Seriously, this is some uncanny thing going on right here. Either he was going, uh... After a reference that just coincidentally looks like them, or the architect has been stalking B through his entire life just to get that likeness, or you know, just long enough to get like a plan of what his face looks like or something. Yeah, still, it's a little creepy that uh, there would be a room shaped like them. You know, I mean, if I saw that, I'd be weirded out. Unless I was the one to do it. I guess that's totally explainable. Actually, you know what? I can go in there and have half open all the doors for me. Get the door. Okay. Undoing extreme. Okay, so how do I open this one now? Okay. No, seriously, that is weird. Whoever built this dungeon is a weirdo. Or maybe you just want to make a cute little tribute. But seriously, does he know these people? And honestly... Having a dungeon uh, built after a 10-year-old is a little weird, too. Just... Just saying. That is weird. I mean, Bithro, okay. He's like an adult. Maybe it's like a tribute from someone who really knows him well. But half? Mm. Who? What? Mm. That, that really is weird. Okay, so what is this, like a two-parter? Or a four-parter? Looks like something blue. Maybe, it might, maybe it's a... Oh wait, is that gonna be like the Caval Games logo? I'm guessing that's what's next. Do the other levels have shapes and I just didn't notice them? Maybe. Because the previous one had half, which is really weird, by the way. And uh, the one before that had uh, Bethro, so I was just pondering. Yes, it's the Cowboy Games logo. And there are monsters. 
Okay, so we are not done here. Not by a long shot. Okay, so, uh... Oh, really? You... 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 Uh, why, Pilchard? Why? This is utterly useless. No, those snake, those snake trains aren't gonna bring you enlightenment. I don't know what they promised you. Gold? Uh, a dimension teleporter? Whatever it is, it's... It's not worth it. It's just not worth it. It just isn't. Oh. Okay. Ow. Stop killing me, man. Okay, so am I supposed to crawl in there or something? Guess so. Ugh, oh, are you kidding me? My favorite part is the part where there's mud babies. You know, I was actually joking when I said that. I don't like that part. Zero out of ten. Stop making it all the time. <laughs> no, but seriously, this is kind of annoying. Seems like this guy likes mud and snake trains a whole lot. You know what, I've been ragging on this hold a lot. It's not that bad, it's just... It, it seems to suffer from some pitfalls that beginners have. And... No, actually I'd say pitfalls of uh, the kind of design that was more acceptable back in the day. Because, uh, Snake... Because Kingdom Gets Dungeon basically made snake trains and stuff under tar, you know, okay in an official standard. So, people say, oh, well, snake trains are totally fine because uh, King Dugan's Dungeon did it. You know, that is a complete load of uh, bad stuff and is completely and entirely untrue. Because snake trains are horrible. They're tedious and serve no purpose except to annoy the player. Stuff under tar, unless there's a point to it, kind of also falls into that same category. Just tedious for the sake of tedious. Yeah. Aside from that, I guess it's not too bad. Boom, boom, boom. Let's just kill that brain now. Good chunk. Oh hey, it's that room from level 16 of Journey to Rudehold. Although in a condensed version. No thank you. Oh, I could have actually taken that on from the top. Okay. I see. Well, let's go tackle it from the top then. So yeah, I don't know how I managed to call it, but I managed to call the fact that this was going to be the Cavill Net Low... Go. Okay, seriously, it, it's stupid arrow tripped me up. That was dumb. So, uh... Why can't I just wait here instead? Oh, right, I know why. I can. That's why I can't. It's because I can. Wait, what? Yeah. Exactly. Uh, seriously, this arrow is completely and utterly obstructive. It trips you up and you don't even know what it is until, like, later on. Anyway, this is super easy. Dead? This one may be a little more difficult. Or maybe not. Look at how easy this is. It's like taking candy away from a mud baby. And then killing it. Oh, 
seriously, this episode, this this commentary really gets rough at times. I'd feel bad for new viewers. This guy advo uh, advocates killing babies. Clearly, that's horrible. <laughs> but it's about the context. Totally, totally doesn't sound like the words of a madman. Totally not. <laughs> no, uh, it's fine to talk about killing babies if it's in the right context. <laughs> sure, like totally. I don't advocate killing babies. If if you think that I do, that's dumb. And if you advocate killing actual, real-life babies, then that's stupid and you're stupid. And I hope your face gets stupided by stupid. Yes, that is totally a logical sentence I just sentenced there. All locks removed. How do you know that all locks have been removed? What if I wasn't doing them in order? Okay. Castle ground floor. Finally returned to the ground floor. It was time to say the farewells to the king. Well, you're finally out, Bethro. The entrance to my castle is just ahead. I'll leave you to it. Goodbye, Bethro. Goodbye, King Pilchard. Goodbye. Half. Bye, mister. Wait, what about the intruders? Yeah, that's what I was wondering. I just got a message saying they've been caught. Well, that's good. Well, goodbye. How many times did I use that tunnel? Beast will finally left King Pichard the eighth castle met this so-called friend. Hey, you made it out then! You don't realize what you just put me through, do you? Hey, calm down! Okay, where's that little something you wanted to give me? Here you go! What the fog? This is a goblin armpit air! Yeah, that's the little something. It's something and it's little! I'm gonna kill you! No, calm down! Was I actually supposed to kill him or not? He's just gonna run around? Yeah, I was supposed to chase him or something, right? Well, I could just kill him. Whatever, I'm gonna leave. Well, from now on, I'll never get tricked into doing stupid things again. And this time I mean it. Finally, time for the credits. King Pilchard, uh, Dungeon by Pilchard, aka Richard West. Storyline by me. Ideas from Forum and from many other olds. Special thanks to Testers Doom, McMack Gray, Shik, Elislo, Krish, Walu, Copro, me, Nero Z, Benjui, Syntax, and me. Uh, him, not not me. me. And thanks to all the people on the forum for the extra advice. See you in King, in King Pilchard's uh, Ace Dungeon, Return to the Spire. See you then too, I guess. Alright, so alternate ending and hold. Oh, I want to know how the, the alternate ending goes. This was to be an alternate ending, but was dumped along with two extra modes. Expert mode, in which the game was significantly harder, with had enemies, and crazy mode, where nothing really made sense. Hey, you made it out then! You don't realize what you just put me through, do you? Hey, calm down! Okay, where's this little something you wanted to give me? Here you go! Wow, a copy of Draw of the City Beneath! Yeah, great, huh? I nicked it off Mike Reimer's hard drive. Uh... Who's Mike Reimer? Oh, never mind. I guess I won't have to kill you after all. Ha <laughs> Yeah. What are you going to do now? I'm gonna end this. Okay, so yeah, that's 75% uh, secrets. Anyway, this has been Beefy Bucking 7 with King Pilcher's Dungeon. In the next part, more secrets. See you next part, have a nice one.